今日はドロップキックマーフィーズが来てくれました。Nice to see you guys in Japan. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Yeah, yeah. What's up? So, uh, you had a show last night. How, so, how was it? Actually, that's incredible. 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 My first show. First show? Yes, first show. First show with the band. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're the new guy. New guy. New guy. AKA yeah. the kid. He's only 17. 17. High school drop off. <laughs> Trying to help him out. Typical American. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how, how did you get into the band? Uh, no, this guy. Kidnapping. He's, uh, he's the uh, he's uh, the young Angus Young we call him. He wears the uh, wears the school uh, school boy uniform. <laughs> so you still go to school? No, no, no. I'd He'd be in school right now. Yeah, he should be. In school. He should be in school. Go to school. <laughs> yeah. Like eleventh grade. Stay in school. Uh, yeah. So you he's quit in, school and you're in the I band now. I tutor. On the road. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this is my father. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you teach him? I teach him. Uh, he taught me how well, to he's also he, he's also the only single guy in the band, so I'm trying to teach him that he needs to go out and uh, pick up some women for Christ's sake. Get some. <laughs> Get some. In Japan. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, in Japan, especially yeah. in Japan since we're here. Yeah. No time like the present. Uh, so uh, you're also new to the band. Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. in the band for uh, six months. months. Call it six months. We'll six, say six months. Six months? Yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, we added a second guitar to the band, mm -hmm. which was James, and then um, Rick Botton, uh, original guitarist. He's still a member of the band, but he had to retire from uh, the touring aspect because he's got about 17 kids and four wives, <laughs> child support payments that you just wouldn't believe. So, uh, he still writes for the band and everything, but uh, he's home uh, with a paintbrush right now, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him. Yeah. Mm, that, that, that's interesting. Uh, why, why, why do you think he got really tired of touring? Well, He's we 39. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And contrary to popular belief, you know, may, uh, playing music doesn't always mean you make a lot of money, you know. <laughs> so, so re reality, reality caught up with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had your debut in '98, and it's been two years, and you know, some members has, has changed. During the time, but uh, anything else changed inside? Well, we maybe, definitely maybe learn how to write songs. Learn how to write songs. <laughs> we've got to uh, done a lot of traveling since then. You know, um, I don't know. I think we've just become an all-around, you know, better band. Uh, we started out as a joke. This band was just supposed to be a hobby. I didn't even know how to play an instrument. Uh, our first shows, they had to tape the letters on the back of my bass and tune it for me. And I, you know, I, it's like I'm writing the songs you know, vocally writing the lyrics and the melody when we started, but I didn't know how to play an instrument or play them, so. Um, and then all of a sudden it took off in America. We were on tour, so it happened very, very fast. I mean, it's not like we're uh, international uh, rock stars, but I mean, it went from not even being able to play a show to having a fan base, you know what I mean? And a fan base all across America and then the world, I mean, to me, it just amazes me that you know we're not on the radio or any of that, and we can come to Japan and play to 500 kids in Tokyo. I mean, that that's something I never thought would ever in my wildest dreams happen to this band. You know. Does it have to? Um, do, do you think it's because you um, got into Hellcat? Or that definitely helped. That's, well, but you before, need distribution. Be, yeah. Before that, I think what a big help was when the Boss Tones took us on tour in the States and just playing in front of thousands of kids that have never heard of us every night. And, uh, just, you know, I think that helped quite a bit to, to make, a, make a bigger fan base, because before that it was just, uh, we only had singles and stuff, and you, you had pockets of, of fans in places, but after that I think that, that made us, at least uh, the name was known around the whole country. Yeah, the, but the, the, the punk <laughs> definitely is like, the, in the punk world, just the whole underground word of mouth thing, it's just nice that, you know, you, you can put out some singles and go play, and and the, just the word travels, you know what I mean? And a friend, you know, uh, five kids that saw us were open for the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones tell all their friends at school, and the next time, you know, um, you know, the shows grow and the people grow, and, uh, <coughs> you know, I mean, I think if you have a good live show, which I think we do, I don't, I'm not saying technically the best live show, but we have, like, uh, enthusiasm and energy and uh, I think uh, the audience picks up on that and they, they want to you know they want to come back and they want to bring 
bring more people with them the next time, you know? And I take more pride in having the fan base grow that way than by, you know, the old, you know, the radio, other being the band that has the radio hit and nobody knew you uh, yesterday, everyone loves you tomorrow, and then they forget about you the next day, you know what I mean? Well, they do love you, they love that one song, and they have, they're, they're dead, you know, you see those bands, the crowd is just not moving until they hear that radio hit, and they go nuts, <clears throat> and then for the rest of the set, yeah, it's like in the 70s and like, you know, like bands like the Rolling Stones and ACDC and all those bands. I mean, back at that era, people made albums, you know what I mean? And in like today's world, it just seems like, you know, it's just not about like making good records and following a band's career. It's a, it's just about what is that single or fad of the moment. And and that that's fine for, for, for the rest of the world, but I think we're all... Even though some of us probably weren't even born in the '70s, well, we're all stuck mentally there. So. Yeah. Well, the band has a the band. I mean, as Kenny has said before, the band has a, a theory about releasing records, and if you're going to release a record, you kind of have a responsibility to go and play for the people in their town. And I I've been in the band now, um, just just a, call it two years now. It's like weeks away. It'll be two years. I've been in the band. I was in the band a year and a half, and had already played 300 shows with these guys. So. I mean, yeah, being on Hellcat helps a lot, but it's also the whole just going out there and playing and playing and playing and playing for the people, you know what I mean? Because I think people see that we care enough to come to their town, you know what I mean, and play for them. So, you know what I mean? The integrity goes both ways. So, you get loyal friends. You get loyal friends. And you finally think it's the band, man. Finally, finally yeah. yeah. And we We've hope been to trying come to get here for a while. Nobody uh, wanted to take a chance and bring us over and uh, to find people at Circle One Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> They asked us to come over, and um, you know we're, we're thrilled to, to have been here. I mean, a year ago, we, we were saying to, um, to people at our label and everyone we knew, well, why, why can't we go to Japan? You know, and I'm pretty. Um, we were gonna, we had, we were gonna try to do it, uh, just totally, uh, you know, come in illegally in some bands that we knew of, and just kind of set up an underground tour. But our agents in America were saying, don't do that, don't do that, and we waited and waited so long. And finally, we just said, we're going to Japan. You can't stop us. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you feel about uh, playing your first show in Japan? Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So like, like last month, I was slinging videos at Blockbuster Video. <laughs> 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 Just goes to show how much your life can change, you know? <laughs> he's never left America before, and now he's in Japan. <laughs> and James has never been on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> he never wants to go on one again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you something. Third to 15 hour flight. Little liquid courage to hear that. You know, your song, the songs in the album, they uh, some of them represent the Irish American, you know, like the bagpipes and stuff. Um, how, how's the reaction when you play in? Um, have you ever played in Ireland? Yeah. 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 Um, we've played three shows. We played, we've played. we done two tours there and played uh, three or four times. We played twice in Dublin and one in Cork yeah, City. Cork, uh, yeah, it's, three times. It's, it's overwhelming, the response in Ireland. It's, it's just to know that, you know, you can, you can, uh, the, the people, the, you know, you're, the people of, of, uh, from the country that, of your origin accept you and, and, and completely embrace you in the way that they do is just, it just, it's, an, it's an affirmation. Yeah, it kind of, exactly, it's an affirmation. It kind of, and because, I mean, especially being a, when I came to the band, the one thing that you always heard from people was, oh, this Irish thing, they're American though, you know, what's the, do they think they're from Ireland or something? But when we went to Ireland, it was like, these people right away were like, no, you guys get it. And besides, the heritage in the band is Irish anyways, but it's like, it was just incredible. And then when we came back, it's like, you know what? It doesn't really matter what you say about it because the people in Ireland have given us the thumbs up. <laughs> so we've been, you know what I mean? And they're the ones who, like, if we're going to get anyone to give us the thumbs up, they're the most important critics, probably. But, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of other countries don't understand um, the um, kind of what, you know, the experience of America being such a, such a young country and a lot of, you know, relatives and stuff, you know, and in we're all the, immigrants. the way we were raised, you know what I mean, is... Uh, the roots of Ireland, you know, are very strong still in that community, and and um, it's not that I feel like I'm Irish. I'm I'm American, but I can't help but have absorbed a lot of that culture of, of the Irish culture into me. You know what I mean? And some people in countries, and actually in even other parts of America, where 
maybe, um, you know, yeah, that weren't so heavily settled by immigrant populations, California, or, you know, they, um, they, they, they might not understand it, but um, it, it was good to play an island. And, 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 and the thing is, it isn't even about, um, you know, necessarily for us, like, although musically there's a big uh, Irish influence, but it's kind of just like taking pride in, in what you are and where, where you're from. And, um, you know, uh, you know, like, when we play in, in, in Southern California, uh, there's a, a huge, like, Mexican population that comes and, and, and is so, they're probably our most loyal fans because they're, they're even newer immigrants to the country and, like, can identify with the message that we might be talking about uh, of our grandparents, but it was their parents, you know what I mean? And, and so it, it kind of transcends whatever particular uh, background you're from. You know? We are American, first and foremost. Okay, then, um, if you have a message for the Japanese fans, we're, we're happy to be here and we and hope to we come back. And we love really your soon. toilets. Yeah, yeah your <laughs> toilets are toilets. And in a minute, you're going to be treated to a live video shot, just not live, just a few minutes ago at the, at the, the epic bathrooms. bathrooms. We've never experienced anything like it, and it was quite a shock. It was, it was, it was sublime. <laughs> then let's take a look at it. All right. <laughs> hey, look at that, America. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know how to stop it. That's hot water. Yeah. 
guys ready for some rock and roll or what? Go, go, go. 